What I'm gonna show you here is a mobile price change application from RepTool. So what you do is that you scan the barcode of the product you want to change the price of. We look up uh, in a database the current price, uh, current quantity in stock and so on. And you simply enter a new price that you want, press enter and this information is sent through Bluetooth to a mobile printer. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to build your very own printer application with RepTool. So this is the RepTool designer. What I'm going to do first is to add a text field uh, telling the user what he's doing. Uh, so let's call this price change. And we're going to make this text field a little bit bigger. Something like this. And we're going to make the font size. 16 maybe and we're gonna center the text and change the background color to green so the next thing I'm gonna do is to add an input field for uh, the barcode reader so we make sure that the scanner is enabled here I'm gonna do this full screen width and then we're going to do a database search so I'm going to import a database that I have on my hard drive. So we have rep to retail sample database here. And we select that the row number one is the column name. So there we have imported this database. <coughs> and we're gonna search for the value in input one in the barcode column. And we're gonna enable uh, article text we're going to enable the sales price the distributor stock location and number of units in stock so after this i'm just going to throw in a few output fields to show the content of this uh, search result and we show one more here i'm just doing this very quickly so i don't bore you to death so if I get a result, I'm going to jump to output one. If I don't get a result, I'm going to jump back to input one. And in output one, I'm going to show the result in article text. Output two is distributor. Output three is stock location. Output four is stock number of units. So let's just test this to see if everything works. I know there's a barcode called 12 in this. Yes, I got a result there. <coughs> so after this, I'm going to take in a new input field uh, where I can enter the new price. So let's set this to a little bit bigger. Let's take. 16 here and we disable the scanner and we allow maximum of 10 characters in this field so after this I'm gonna add the print function so first I have to create a label so I've already done this uh, this is a nice label so what I've done is I've added a few text fields, a barcode field and uh, yeah, some other text fields. So uh, what I've named them to is <coughs> at before all the variable fields. So this is just to keep track of them in my, uh, in my label design and also in, <coughs> in RepTube. And I've also set the set up the printer. It's a Sato mobile printer, and uh, I've uh, installed the driver on my Windows PC, and I've set the driver to print the file if it gets a uh, label. So what I do in uh, in nice label is that I just print this label. Uh, so I select print here. And this will create the file on my hard drive. So let's call this uh, test label uh, dot prn, for example. Uh, so press OK here. So this 
file ends up in my hard drive uh, so here we have the label that I just created so then we move back to the designer again and I have to import uh, a file so we select test label.prn one I just created and I want to create a number of variables so we have one two three four five six variables here so we add one two three four five six and then I have to get the data I'm just gonna do a few of these fields so we take uh, at PR1 copy the name of that one and paste it here now we go back to our label design and we take the manufacturer here V2 and we go back to the rep tool designer and replace this one and then we take this one which is let's say the barcode so this barcode is called 1234567 uh, blah 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 and it's an 8 that's the control number so don't forget to add that also when you add a barcode so this will be the barcode so that's all I'm gonna do for now um, so we're gonna replace PR1 with the price from input 1 and we're gonna replace uh, at V2 with the distributor and then we're gonna replace this number here with our input one which is the barcode so then we make this into a loop that jumps up to input one again so now we can save this application uh, printer test save it to my desktop here so what I'm going to do now is to upload this new design file to the mobile device that I have on my desk here. So I'm going to double click on it in the net console and select browse and browse to the file that I just created here which is printertest.wrap and press open and when I, pre when I press update it's going to be imported up to the server so the next time the mobile device connects to the server it's gonna get its new design file so if I press F1 here it's gonna connect to the server and exit wrap tool and I restart wrap tool here and it's gonna start up with the new design file that I just sent to the mobile device um, so now it's loading up here and it's connecting to the server again to download the printer uh, label file and also the database that uh, I uploaded to my RepTube application. So now I'm gonna scan a barcode here. Uh, so it looks up in the database and I'm gonna set a new price on this product, press enter. And it's gonna be sent through Bluetooth to the printer. So you can see here on the label that I've replaced the value for the price, but not uh, at V1, which I didn't uh, create in my design file. So I replaced the barcode here also. 